Hi, it's Taylor from Team High Society, and I wanted to do a quick video here and show you what the OSD looks like when using a Phantom 3 or an Inspire 1 with the HDMI output from the transmitter. So on the top left, next to the HDMI sign, you will see uh, that says take off when you actually take off, and then once you're there, it'll switch to show you the mode that you're in. And in this case, we're in the PGPS mode. Next to the GPS mode, or I'm sorry, next to the mode, you have the GPS strength. And that will, sh as long as you have enough satellites to set a home location, that will show full bars. Um, at the top right, we have the transmitter strength, the video link quality, and then the battery life left in percentage. You also notice that when you start video recording, a little red circle appears in the center and it shows you, it increments the time uh, that it's been recording. Uh, on the bottom, from left to right, we have height above the home location in feet. And it also has an arrow that flashes in the direction if you're going up or down, uh, just to show that there's some movement there. Uh, and that's designated with the H. For the D is distance from the, ho the uh, home location horizontally in feet. Uh, next we have AZ, which is the azimuth. The HS shows the horizontal speed in mile per hour. Um, and the VS is the vertical speed in mile per hour. Another thing to note is the diamond that's on the screen at some place, depending on which direction you're facing, and that's used to return home visually. So if you turn the quadcopter so that the diamond is in the center and go forward, you can follow the diamond basically to your home position. Now, lastly, in the middle, you'll notice that there's eight little dots that kind of form a bar around that V. And what that does is that shows the orientation of the quad, which is really handy. Um, if, it's, if you're up in the air and taking a shot of something, the gimbal will keep your video very still. But if there is some wind or something that's moving the quadcopter around, it'll actually show it with those eight dots. Also, when you're turning or if you're trying to, to bank or to do a, a, um, a circular shot, it helps to see the orientation of the quad, at least for me. And using the V as a reference point is also helpful to, to help you line up the shot that you want. And that's pretty much it for what's on the screen. Uh, to get this recorded, I actually took the HDMI out, converted it to um, composite video and then fed it into some Dominator HD V2s and used the onboard DVR to record it. So normally you would uh, do HDMI directly into your Dominators if you have uh, the capability and the video quality is much much better. Uh, also the um, aspect ratio because of the re of the uh, dominators is 4 by 3 whereas the actual aspect ratio for the phantom or the inspire is going to be 16 by 9 anyways thanks for watching if this was helpful at all um, a like would be really helpful and subscribe for more we have a whole bunch planned for 2016 thanks a lot